was my last case. It nearly drove me to madness. Who knows? You know, maybe it did. The news called him the insomniac killer. He struck in the middle of the night. He didn't make it quick for him either. You know, sick, sick stuff. New York was scared. The reports kept coming in and I was getting desperate. My fiance was ID'd as the latest victim, and I was off the case and down a bottle. It took my badge, it took my will, it all caved in. Two years, two years chasing ghosts, clutching onto the last fragile strands of hope in a restless city. For good reason, too. No one could sleep when there's a monster at the door. Monster's been taking him in the night. Not quietly either. Wake a pretty young girl's dead. The hands of God only know. Still there on my dreams. But lately, uh, dreaming, that's been pretty tough to do. It's considered quite rude to skulk around waiting rooms, asking questions. Uh, I wasn't skulking. Sir, you were clearly skulking. Clearly. Now please, if you don't leave me be, another degenerate may sneak up on me, like you just did. Whatever you say, buddy. You have a nice night.
what kind of creature stalks the streets of our once beautiful city? What kind of abomination drives people to huddle in fear? How can anyone even live with the thought? I imagine the police are doing their best to answer those questions, ma'am. Ah, the police. They're too busy cleaning up to even get a start on protecting anyone. Just tonight, one shot an innocent man who he claimed was surely the killer. Is that what the city's become? Lawless and lousy with monsters. A wonderful place to find yourself. It's a dream, yeah. But have you heard of any new cases since the young woman in the park? It seems like things are dying down. Eye of the Storm, Detective. Former. And I hope for all of us you're wrong. I really am. Have a good evening, ex-detective. You too, miss. Dang thing must be on the fritz. Hey, buddy. You heard anything new about these murders? I can't seem to get a signal on this piece of junk. I haven't really been following the news. Well, you've had to hear about the killer out there. Prowling the alleys and picking people right off the street. Yeah, but that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. It doesn't exactly put someone at ease here and all that. I hear you, but you gotta stay informed. I mean, this killer, he's a butcher. He pretty little things didn't deserve none of what I've seen on the news. This freak's got me up at night, and I can't get a beat on any of it because this hunk of crap don't want to work. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. Hello, Simon. It's good to see you after the last few missed sessions. Uh, about that. Simon, I know how difficult all this is. But the only way for this treatment to work is for you to be diligent. Now, let's begin where we left off our previous session. Take these two tablets and lie back on the sofa. Travis tried to warn me away. A psycho, the insomniac killer, and you got her. I was supposed to meet her at the Wanda Last Diner downtown. I missed the date and that was that. I'd never see her again. That's enough for tonight, Simon. How are you feeling? Ah, dizzy. What the hell was that, Doctor? Simon, we talked about this. We're accessing painful memories. There will be some side effects. Yeah, but I saw Dawn. It was so real. Well, yes and no. More a memory of Dawn, or really a construct, but even those can deeply affect a person. And this is supposed to help? It will. In time. But I have a lot of patience to see tonight, Simon. Take two of these each night and see me in two weeks. 
Uh, Grand and Broadway, please. How's it been going tonight? You drive around and you see all these happy couples and you say, Hey, why not me? What is wrong with me? Yeah, I guess I can relate. I haven't had much luck in that department lately either. If they just gave me a chance, I know I could make them happy. Yeah, but I guess you gotta make those chances. What do you even do to make them happy? A little of this, a little of that. Am I right, buddy? You know what I mean. <laughs> well, not exactly. Yeah, but we're almost here. You let me off on the corner. Sure you do. You know what I mean. You look like the type. Yeah, whatever you say. Have a nice night, Dad. Dawn was beautiful. An angel, if ever one did grace this earth. Since Dawn died, I, uh, I haven't slept much. This doctor, though, he's a good guy. He's trying to help. It's some radical new treatment. Lucid something or other. I'm supposed to get down to the root of it. Ain't no roots though. Dawn's gone, she ain't coming back. That monster is still out there. Catch any mice today? Yeah, good job, Cap. This was our little place. Uh, Dawn said she loved the coffee. She never ordered it though. Oh, Simon, you came. Ah, uh, sorry I'm late, Dawn. This case has just been uh... a. <laughs> Always talking about the case, but what about you, Simon? How are you doing? It's been years. Years already. Yeah, I guess you're right. Sorry, I couldn't make it on time. I wish you had, Simon. I would have liked to see you. I know. Me too. Uh, I'm glad I got to see you now, even if it ain't quite the same. Simon, both of us shouldn't be here. You know that. I know what the doctor said. Doctor? Simon, are you okay? Uh, I don't know, Dawn. It's been tough. I miss you. Do you miss me? Of course I miss you. Uh, yeah, I figure, but, you know, I just feel left behind. You know, maybe I should have been there. I don't know, Simon. Let's just enjoy this time we have now. Yeah, you're right. I just... Dawn? I know it's him. That monster. I don't know how though. Just I do. 
He's right there. So close. I took a walk to shake my head clear of these nightmares. I ended up out by the lake. A lot of good memories with Dawn here, but it's also where they found the first body. was it? I remember you from the clinic. You heard about the latest murder? Over by the industrial park? Uh, no. When and how'd you hear about that? I got myself one of these new police scanners. And anyone can buy one of those, I bet. What else have you heard? I can pick up everything the police are doing on this crazy thing. Why again would you want to? Well, I just want to stay informed. Sure, but the papers, the news, don't you think this is a bit excessive? No, I don't think that at all. Well, then what's this saying now? Just seems now they're closing in. How could you tell? It sounds like gibberish to me and I used to speak the language. Just a feeling like a train bearing down on a car stuck in a cross. Unsettling. Listen though. I sitting out here to form a crime scene, listening in to the cops, it seems a bit suspicious. Not suspicious at all. Give me any reason it ain't. You know my wife is gone. Oh, Brooks, I'm sorry about that. It's just that that also fits the profile. Sir, that is a terrible thing to say to someone clearly in grieving. Yeah, me too, but I'm not camped out here spying on the Jakes. Grief takes many forms. Listen, you better start making more sense. <sighs> Suppose paranoia is a natural reaction when there's a predator out there. Predator? You know something you're not telling me, Brooks? No. And I have nothing more to say to you. I might have more to say to you soon. But for now, stay away from this, Brooks. No good comes from falling down the rabbit hole. What do you see when you look up into the night sky, Simon? What do you mean, like the stars or in a deeper type of way? Oh, shut up. Never mind, I said anything. No, no, I get it. But uh, honestly, I don't see much. I spent so much time looking through the dirt that maybe I, I never really got around to looking up. Poor, poor Simon. That's the most melancholy thing. I've ever heard, and it fits you perfectly. What's that supposed to mean? I knew this was a setup. And what do you see? Really? Yeah, really. Everything. The future, the present. I know it's stupid, and even though I know it's looking at lights that went out a long time ago, well, they're here now, and so are we. I'm glad for that. Me too, Dawn. <laughs> you haven't even seen the stars. Hopefully you will find some time to look up. Hey, come on. when I think I'm at the bottom I sink a little fur
There's a killer out there. And the police are just sitting on their hands. I hope you're not thinking about going after them yourself. I just want to know if they have any leads, if they're any closer to catching this monster. Why are you out here anyways, Brooks? No. No reason. No reason. Yeah, you're out here at a murder scene rambling about the killer. Look, it's, uh, it's complicated, all right? And what's that mean? You've been doing something else besides hanging out at crime scenes? I'm... Listen, Brooks, I want to believe you, but you're making that pretty difficult. If you're insinuating what I think you are, then I have nothing left to say. I'm trying my best here. Fine. You know, maybe we're in the same boat after all. My wife, she was one of the first victims. I get it. My fiance was one of them, too. That freak is still out there. We'll get him, Brooks. Any news from that scanner? Could be you. Could be me. Anyone. Scary thought. But really, any information? Last I heard, found another body out by the lake. Wait, what do you mean? We're by the lake now. What does it matter, anyways? You're going off the rails, Brooks? Or am I? I'm catching this freak won't change a thing. Will it? It might bring some closure. Some peace, maybe. <sighs> maybe it will save someone else from this horror. Maybe, Brooks. Now listen, is there anything I could do for you? No. No, Detective. I think I just want to be alone. Looks like the cops found another body. Yeah, maybe I should take a look around. We meet again in a strange place. I suppose so, miss. How are you holding up? I dread hearing any news. It's difficult, sure. But anything you know could help. You heard anything? Not explicitly, but I fear my husband may be wrapped up in all this. Is that so? Why would you think that? I found bloody clothes the other night. That's disconcerting, but it could have been an accident. He's been coming and going as he pleases lately. That may be more so. What do you mean by that? The wind is less transient. I suppose it could be explained. Have you tried talking to him? That's not all, though. Go on. I found a diary filled with terrible, twisted thoughts. Yeah, but those are just words. Fantasy. But it is a reflection. Yeah, but I don't think they'll drag him downtown just for some ideas. At least I hope they wouldn't. I hope so. Wait, you want them to nab your husband? Where is he now? Two nights ago, while I was asleep, he had come home. And did you speak with him? No, when I awoke, he was already gone. Gone like the wind, just like you said. Where is he now? He has some problems. Yeah, that doesn't excuse the behavior, but it could be the cause. Maybe your hunch is right. Lost a lot of money to some bad people. Oh, those kind of problems. Those kind don't lead to serial killing, usually. Well, I didn't say that. I said I'm worried he's mixed up with this. Wait. What do you mean? If you don't think your husband did it, then what do you think? Girls just don't go missing and wind up on the banks of the lake every day. Well, the sad truth is you're half right. Not every day, but the frequency lately is getting a little scary. Something more is going on than what the police think. Uh, like a conspiracy? I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to find out. Listen, ma'am, 
I don't know what you're shooting at, but just take care of yourself. Don't worry, but you do the same. I'll try. Simon? Wow, you look like hell. Ah, uh, thanks, Travis. Uh, what do you got? You know I can't tell you anything. You're a civilian now. Uh, listen, I'm doing a little investigation of my own. Uh, you don't have to say a word, just look the other way while I poke around a little. And I definitely can't let you in. Come on, for an old partner. I could help. Listen, Simon, I know you've had a rough go of it, but this kind of behavior is gonna get you locked up. I don't know what you mean. Go home, Simon. All I want to do is catch this freak. Get some rest. Clean yourself up. We almost had him, Travis. That night in the alley. You know uh, none of these other bums are gonna net this monster. I know. There isn't really anything I can do. I can't believe that. Sorry, Simon. Oh, God. Everything's getting mixed up here. Feels like the night Dawn died, but this ain't where they found her. My husband came home late. Oh, yeah? Did you get to speak with him? Not quite. What exactly does not quite mean? He's gone. Gone? He said this time he wasn't coming back. I'm sorry to hear that, miss. It was a long time coming now, in reflection. How was he so sure he ain't coming back this time? Could be a threat. He said as much. Oh. We had a heated argument and he stormed. Terrible. Is there anything I could do? It was a long time coming now, in reflection. Ma'am, are you okay? It feels like something died. Like he died. Not a good place to be considering what's going on. I hope you can find a little peace. I know all this news may have got me emotional, but I mourn just the same. Understandably so. Do you have anyone that could pick you up? No, I haven't. Uh, maybe I can call you a taxi. No use. It's how it is, and there is no changing that. Uh, I don't know about that. I lost someone close, and I'm still trying to move ahead. We're two different people, and maybe we mourn differently. And uh, maybe we ain't so different. Look, if you want to be left alone, I'm gonna look around a bit. You shout if you need anything. Leave me to mourn, then. This is getting a little too weird. Better see the doctor. They've got my order wrong. I just know it. Order? What order? This is a clinic, not a lunch counter. What are you doing here? Waiting for my lunch, clearly. Well, yeah, you said, but at a sleep clinic? Haven't I seen you here before? I don't know. Maybe. I just want things to be perfect. I really don't know what you're talking about. I really think speaking with you is throwing me off. I'm not quite sure I'm the reason you're a little off. 
I don't know anything about the recent murders. I didn't ask about the murders. Uh, are you sure you're alright? There is enough to worry about. I know that's right, but are you sure I can't help you in any way? That order you were talking about. Who got what wrong? Wrong? That's it. I'm sure they've messed it up. Alright. We seem to be going in circles. It's just, things don't make much sense, and that can make anyone stressed. I'm not the only one. That's true. That's why I offered to help. I can't help if you don't tell me what's going on. I mean, this place. None of it makes sense. And you're only adding to that. I've been waiting here for years now. For years, and all I can do is worry it'll be wrong. Years. Yeah. I get depression can do that. Make time seem fast or slow. And days seem like years. Years seem like minutes. And will I be satisfied if it even comes at all? If that's your worry, why'd you order your lunch at all? Am I supposed to starve? No, I mean, why put something so worrying in someone else's hands? I've invested this much time now, and you can't turn back the clock. What about all the time you wasted worrying about how things would be? You could have spent that time making sure things were certain instead of hoping. Well, that doesn't make much sense. It didn't to me not so long ago, but now I'm not so sure. Maybe it does make a little bit of sense. I'll just wait here forever, I suppose. And that's a choice, but not the one I would make. A paycheck is worth more than winning the lottery, you know. Is it really better, though? Yeah, I think so. Worth being relative. But again, even with hard work, it can turn out crap. That's troubling. I suppose. But it's all worth a shot. Listen, I'm gonna try and get in and see the doctor. Good luck with your lunch. It's hopeless. All of it. No luck can help. Late again, Mr. Trickett. I was just here. Uh, those pills. Doctor, I think something's going haywire. His dreams are so vivid. And... Well, to be quite honest, Simon, you've not been responding as intended to the treatment. Not to worry. Now, lay back. Count down from a hundred. your lunch turn out? Did it ever get there? No. No, it never came. I wouldn't have enjoyed it if it had, anyways. That's too bad. How could you know that, though? I would have dissected it. Ruined before a single bite. Yeah, I got the same bad habit. Kept me from enjoying a lot of things. But how could you be certain? I don't know that for certain. Ah, uh, well. Nothing's certain these days. Especially with the murderer out there. I'm not interested in any murder mystery. Too taxing, and right now, I can't handle much more. Yeah, seems that way. There is certainly enough to worry about. Yeah, like a late lunch. Where is that lunch? I hope it arrives soon. I've just been hoping for all this to be over. But aren't you concerned you may not solve the case, Detective? Huh? Why are you asking me that? Yeah, not anymore. You know, I'm just looking for a little rest. I suppose that is one way of looking at it. What do you mean? I would just be on edge that maybe everything won't turn out all right. I'm positive it won't. Why? Because it rarely does, Detective? Yeah, but also I'm tired. I'm tired of the chase, and maybe there could be a little respite for a guy like me somewhere. I would like to believe that, but everything else points to the opposite. I always believed you, 
either spend a lifetime worrying what's on the other side, or you just go ahead and open up that door. It may not be best to pry into the unknown. No, but maybe I have to know. No matter how tired I am, maybe I have to bend this thing down. Conscious or otherwise. supposed to be doing anymore. And maybe this is all just some kind of cruel joke. Hello? Anyone there? What the hell's going on? It feels like ginger ale. I gotta get somewhere safe. And home. It's you again. Yeah, uh, how's it going tonight? Grand and Broadway again, please. What are you doing out so late? Haven't you heard about the murders? Uh, yeah, yeah. Listen, buddy, I ain't doing so good. But can we just uh, enjoy the radio or something? Out by the lake, downtown. Heard a couple haven't even been found. Yeah, it's really... Wait, what do you mean, a couple that haven't been found yet? No, I don't know. I'm just saying it's crazy out here. And here you are. Here we are. Less and less people out at this time. It makes it hard for a guy to make a living. Tough times all around. Doesn't look like the bad luck is breaking anytime soon, though. It makes me a little upset. That's understandable. It feels like uh, everything's upset these days. What did I do to deserve any of this? What did any of us do? Was it what we didn't do? Maybe we sat on our hands too long. But I imagine you drive yourself nuts trying to figure that out. It is almost a nightmare. You said it. A nightmare. I can't tell anymore. What's a dream? What's not? It doesn't even matter. This treatment. all just crashing down again. Am I stuck here? In the abyss? Haven't I suffered enough? Gotta calm down. Just get home. Shake these nightmares. But dawn. Oh, sweet dawn. I'm so dizzy. 
Maybe I should just... Oh, no, I gotta keep going. I gotta get to the bottom. The bottom just keeps sinking. See the fire? You gotta get out of here. Uh, don't worry about me, just get out of the building as quick as you can. Ah, Mr. Trickett. I'm so glad to see you safe. What the hell is happening to me? This is your fault. Those damn pills. Now, now, Simon, you don't need to be so hostile. Hostile? I'm losing it and you're in my apartment. I think anyone would be pissed. I was merely concerned why you've missed all of your last few appointments. What do you mean? I was just at the clinic. In your state, well... A person in your condition should perhaps be monitored more closely. Monitor? Uh, the train is off the tracks. It's over. I just need something to stop it. That's what I'm here for, Simon. Really? Help me, Doctor. Please, Simon, try to relax. I... I just... Breathe and close your eyes. Everything feels so serene. It's a nice change. Oh, Dawn. Thank God you're back. I just... I can't. What's the matter, darling? Oh, God. It's all coming down. The walls are shifting. The floor is dropping out. I can't take it. They got me on this uh, treatment and it's messing with my head. I don't know what you mean, my sweet dear. The killer, these dreams, it's all just me circling the drain, ain't it? Oh, Simon. If that's how you feel, then you need to kick against it as hard as you can. Uh, one thing though, Simon, that the dreams may end. I wouldn't see you again. It's all chance. That's what brought us here, and that's what will take us away. I... Uh, Dawn, I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. The truth is hard. The truth is they arrested the cab driver a few weeks after the fourth victim. Insomniac killer. He was just some sicko. He was tried and locked away. I wanted them dead. It just wasn't enough for me. I wanted more. So I kept chasing shadows. And it stuck me right here. In this nightmare. I can see it all now. Maybe this treatment has worked. Maybe it's time to let it go. Have you never done something you said you wouldn't? Of course, but I never hurt no one but myself. I did. I know that now. I know it was you and you ain't gonna give me the slip again. I don't really know why, looking back now. What the hell are you talking about? I knew you were nuts. <sighs> you think a single one of them people deserve what you put them through? Not a single one of them deserved it. I know! But at the time, I was angry. You're not angry? Of course. You'd be stupid to not be. No one should be satisfied with what this rotten town gives them, but we make our own chances. You might think differently, but... You don't feel robbed of a future by something completely out of your control. 
Who's to even say that what you thought would be your future? Everything's out of our control. You even think you had a chance? I did. I know you do. I know you understand. The words of a madman. Nah, you ain't getting through. What makes you even think that? You're me. <laughs> I ain't you. You seem to have me mistaken. Standing in front of the catalyst, wielding hammer and flame. What the hell does that mean? You saying I didn't make any choices? Take chances? I lost it all on a risk. The risk to not be afraid. Didn't work out, but that doesn't mean it won't always work out. You warlord. Yeah, I did. I was hurt. Washed away in a tide of grief and self-pity. So I regret it. I regret everything. That isn't changing. I can't change that. And it hurts my- And here we are. Gemini. Reflections. Except one went still a long time ago. Nah, we ain't the same. At least not anymore. Buried underneath an ocean. Content to sleep. I see now that I'm not. No more sleep. No more nightmares. Then what do you want, Simon? Our little place. The Wanda Lost Diana. Something feels different, though. Considering I wouldn't blame you, but don't. Yes, Simon? I know, uh, I stop. I know I can't stay. This really isn't where I should be. What are you saying? I'm saying I have to go. All this, being here with you is great, but it's time to get back. You're back, Simon. Stay with me. The coffee's amazing. <laughs> I know. You always like this place's coffee. It was my last case. Nearly drove me to madness. Who knows? Well, maybe it did. The news called him the insomniac killer. He struck in the middle of the night. And he didn't make it quick for him either. You know, sick, sick stuff. New York was scared. The reports kept coming in and I was getting desperate. 
My fiance was ID as the latest victim, and I was off the case and down a bottle. It took my badge, it took my will, it all caved in. 